Hey guys, and welcome to another MDU Compositions tutorial. Uh, this is side dish number four. And in this side dish, we're going to take a look at how to drive multiple values in the compositor with only one single value. Okay, so let's just open up Blender. And let's just uh, leave it like this. Let's just set the camera first and let's just set something up for later. Let's just set the distance to so that this cube is actually barely out of focus like this. Okay, let's just render this scene and let's just jump over to the node editor. Compositor, use nodes, backdrop. Control shift left click on the render layer so they automatically connect and um, create a viewer node and here we are. Now, um, dri driving multiple values with only one value is basically quite simple. For example, you just add in a mix node and let's just say you mix for example, you multiply a certain color over the previous image in each of those uh, multiply nodes. Now, if you want to make sure that those factor nodes, uh, those factor values, are the exact same for all the nodes, then you can just uh, add in, for example, input a value. You can make it so that this value then drives those factors. So then you can just manipulate them with only this node. Now be careful, this is very sensitive. Uh, if you only move your mouse a bit, it really gives you a drastic change. So it's easier to just type in the value of 0.8, for example, or whatever. So <clears throat> this is one way. But let's say now we're actually going to work with a depth of field nodes. Okay, let's say we have this, uh, we have this result here. And we now want to blur them. We want to defocus them. Okay, so we, we just add in filter defocus node put in the C down there and you can see it did as we told it so you we want to uncheck preview and we want to check C buffer and now we also have to manipulate the F stop let's say we want an F stop of 80 so it start to be slightly blurred it's supposed to be at least let's go with an F stop of 30 yeah, now you can see it starts to get blurred. Um, let's go with 20. Uh, okay, I'm not sure if this is supposed to look this way. Um, I'm actually having a newer build of Blender. It's 2.63.11. Um, there are probably a few issues with the defocus that I just noticed. So let's just um, file, save this. Let me just save this on my desktop. Tutorial. Let's close that and let's open up. This actually, this is also a good thing to do actually to um, keep several different versions of Blender on your computer so you can switch between those versions. And let's just go to the default um, that, uh, Blender release that I got from blender.org. Now let's just open up that blend file again, oh, tutorial, and here we are. Now you can see F12. Now we get a decent, a decent depth of field blur. Okay, but now let's say you want to do the exact same operation on all three nodes. So you just duplicate the focus, put it in there, duplicate it, put it in there, put that in there, and then you can see we did the exact same operation on all of them. Um, although only one of them is blurred, uh, excuse me. Oh yeah, of course we have to use the C input to in there. Let's just use the preferences, themes, put the noodle curving to zero like this. It's a bit easier to see what's going on there. Okay, now uh, in your versions of Blender, in the unofficial releases, I would now just use a Shift A layout, a reroute to make those noodles look more beautiful, more organized. But we cannot do that in this version just now, unfortunately. So this is all nice and dandy, but if we want the f-stop to be the same for each node anyway, because we want it to want to be blurred the same by the same amount, we could as well use such a value node. Well, let's just uh, move that to over there. We could as well use this value node 
um, and input that to the f-stop. But unfortunately, this doesn't work because the f-stop doesn't have a socket okay i do not know why it doesn't have a socket it's just that's just the way it is so if we want to drive all those f-stops by the same value we need to use something else and that something is called driver okay so we need to create drivers for these values and in order to do that let me just show you this as simplified as possible because it can be a bit intimidating but you don't need to know a whole lot about drivers to use them okay so first thing we're going to do we're going to split the window. We're going to change this to graph editor. And we change this to drivers. Okay. We're not going to work with, with F curves, but with drivers. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to right click on the value we want to drive. So in this case, it's the F stop. Right click, add driver. And you can see it turns um, violet, a dark pink or something. Now, next thing to do is to select that node. And then you can see you get this curve. And with control, middle mouse click, you can actually reshape it a little bit so it looks a bit nicer. You can see what we have here, we have an X and a Y axis. And whenever some value is changed by one, this value will be changed by one as well. Okay, cool. But now we're not gonna worry about this curve. This is way too complicated for us. So we're just going to um, maximize the properties. We're just going to drag them all the way across um, the, uh, the the curve view. Now over here you can see as soon as we select this node you can see this scene composite compositing node tree. Open that and just click on, on this one. Then you can see a few properties come up. Once again this looks a bit intimidating but all you have to do you have to change type from scripted expression to averaged value. And then you get this error message and just you can just ignore that. Next thing you want to do, um, you can work with different things, also with objects in your scene, but we want to work with nodes, therefore we need to select single property. Under the property we need to select node tree, because we're going to work with node tree. And then over here we can select our node, but you can see none of the nodes appear. And that's because you, you, need, you can only select groups in here, okay? So you have to take your value, and you have to click uh, to, to, to press Control G to make it into a group. Now we can open these properties and we can just rename that. And I'm just going to name that to defocus underline driver. Okay. And the same in there. Okay. Now we're going to click on the node with w that has to be driven. And then we just select this node group. And now you have this path here. Okay. Now here you have to type in what's supposed to drive this value. So once again, click on the group, tab, hover over whatever you want to use for driving, right click on that and go to copy data path. Tab out of the node group, go to the defocus node and just hover over this path and just hit control V. And I can see that we're just fine. And now you can see our f-stop is 0.8. Now we can no longer manipulate the f-stop here, but we can now just change that value and you can see whatever's in the f-stop, whatever value is in the f-stop um, value, it's 47 as it is over here, 47. Okay, now what we can do now, this is also fairly cool, we can just right click on that, copy driver, right click, paste driver, right click, paste driver. And now we can actually, with only this one value, we can manipulate all the f-stop values and it's much easier than working with three different values or 10 different values or 5,000 different values. It is a bit uh, of a bother setting them up, like this. It's a very easy way to drive multiple values with only one value and it can save you a lot of time. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you learned something. Um, thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.